third topic okay in this topic we will talk about the pressure that is exerted by the interstellar or the stellar interior okay in this chapter we will talk about the uh, that the topic is three and it is pressure exerted by stellar interior okay in this topic we will talk about the uh, degenerate gas and non-degenerate okay and in degenerate will uh, in non-degenerate will study the calculate the pressure that is exerted by the gas okay in this similar in degenerate case also we'll talk about the pressure but in reality mystic case and second is non mystic case okay <clears throat> and finally we'll talk about the pressure that has been that is by radiation okay so uh, let me just start hey so to find the pressure uh, by the non degenerate gas so what do you mean by degenerate versus the non degenerate gas okay so degenerate or non degenerate gas ma ke farak cha consider this is a star so uh, star lai se outward gravity le ke gari rakha huncha it gives so much pressure okay tara yo kina contract hudaina athwa star chai kina collapse hudaina because internally ke huncha nuclear reaction le yalla sustain gareko huncha bhaneko yalla equilibrium ma raheko huncha so outward bata lagne force ra inward bata dekho force dui tela ke huncha it does cancel each other and maintain the equilibrium condition okay so what happens ke huncha jaba chai yo star ko size chai ekdamai thulo huncha so in that case there will be the lot of gravity i mean so say matra alone the nuclear reaction cannot sustain in that case uh, the electron or uh, the electron or the neutron that is uh, that uh, the star is made up of so the electron start to form forming energy levels on so okay so forming energy level ma manilo tapai ko euta yo bhayo euta yo cha euta yo cha and this is u cha aur yo dui ra ke cha unfill yo cha ke cha fill gareko chaina but when you start to गिव सो मच प्रेसर यो इलेक्ट्रोन आएर कह बस के फर्मिन एनर्जी लेवल इलेक्ट्रोन के फुल कर दी ओके सो दैट दे रिल दे दैन दे स्टार्ट टू जेनेट अ डिफ्रेंट काइंड अफ प्रेसर विच इज कल द इलेक्ट्रोन डिजेनेट प्रेसर ओके सो नाउ द गैस इज कल दिजेनेट ओके एंड द प्रेसर इट Uh, it gives is called the degenerate pressure if in case tapai ko electron le de raako cha bhane then it is called electron degenerate pressure right but if the size of the star is very large okay the electron again turn into the neutron okay so there is a chain reaction by which the electron and proton can combine to give the neutron ab neutron le chai tesari forming level bharcha now the neutron uh, start to give the say, its own pressure okay outward pressure so that it uh, Uh, further the star uh, is uh, not collapse okay so further star can collapse hoda na okay because because the pressure given by the neutrons okay so if the star is small in size then it is the electron degenerate pressure if the star is large in size then it is the neutron degenerate pressure that helps the star to maintain its equilibrium condition okay so that is the difference between the degenerate and the non degenerate pressure so to derive the uh, relation that is uh, what relation i told you i am told you non degenerate pressure okay <coughs> it is very easy to derive since we know the pv is equal to what does the pv is equal to that is equal to n k t okay so If I multiply this term by density, then I can also divide by density. Okay. Now this term is mass upon volume into density. Okay. Now this is P V. Now this P and this P get cut. This is K and this K. Now that is K T 
rho n divided by m by that is a capital N capital N capital N N okay so k t rho upon then 1 by n is called we can write it as a mu okay and then this m can we can write it as a mi s okay so this is the <coughs> pressure given by the non degenerate gas okay uh, so this mu mu is equal to 1 by alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z in case of star in case of our normal star alpha beta and gamma these are the particles given by the atoms okay when they are ionized so in case of hydrogen hydrogen gives two okay particles in case of helium two divided by one okay this gives the two particles that is the atomic mass unit is one and in case of helium this is three by four and in case of other gases that is inside the star but in very small amount we can write them as 1 by 2 now if we put this value in here then I will get the solution like 4 divided by 8 x plus 3 y <coughs> plus 2 z so that is the non degenerate pressure so let me go back to uh, degenerate pressure okay so degenerate pressure so first condition we will talk about the non-relativistic okay so when we call a non-relativistic case when the velocity of particle is much more smaller than the velocity of light so velocity is much smaller than the velocity of light in this case we will use e is equal to p square upon 2m all right and we will use pressure as 2 by 3 p by b okay so to calculate the non-relativistic pressure we know the formula is let us consider there is a small phase, phase volume okay so this is a small uh, this is a whole sphere okay inside the sphere i am taking a small part okay so this is a small room that i am taking to count the number of particles that is available in this small element there is a formula that is available phase space volume divided by the small uh, small element okay so the smallest element that you can take is this is given by h cube okay that is applying constraint so that will be h cube and 4 by the available phase space volume is given by as given as 4 pi r square uh, d p b and it is multiplied by the degeneracy factor which is okay so now if we integrate then 4 pi r square and then b by h cube okay that will be 8 to divide by and this will be what will be this this will be 4 pi p square okay so this is not 4 pi this is this is 4 pi p square d p b okay sorry for that that is p d b that is now this will be inside that is d p okay so if we do this then it is 8 by b upon h cube this will be p to the power 3 divided by 3 okay this is equal to n so n i can write it as a n is equal to so what do i get n one equal to pi this is 8 pi b by h cube p cube by 3 so the pressure will be 3 n h cube upon 8 by b 1 by 3 okay so remember this formula we will later on the hour later part okay so now the energy is given by energy is given by we will take the summation okay that will be e and then total number of particle so each particle carrying the energy will the summation over the whole particle that will give us the total energy now the e i will be using for non-relativistic case that is p square 2m 
and the dn is i know what is the dn dn is 4 pi p square d p b upon h cube that is h cube into 2 okay so everything will come come outside instead this p square and then p square and then dp will remain inside okay so i'll take everything out that is 4 pi uh, that's 2 and 2 will get cancelled okay so 4 pi that is b by m h cube and this is p to the power 4 dp this will give me 4 pi b m h cube and this will be p 5 pi 5 so this is the total energy so if you remember from the previous section the pressure is let me say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now instead of p i will substitute the value of p from the equation 1 and then I'll, after substituting my final equation will be something similar to this so my final answer will be energy will be is equal to that is not my final answer but our energy term will be this will be if you carry out okay i'm not doing this uh, entirely that is up to you okay so it will be pi by 40 then by 3 by pi okay and then 5 by 3 h square that is m e and that is b and that is n by b and it is 5 by 3 okay so let me just take this b here okay so that will be e by b is equal to so uh, i'll just delete this term okay so now e by b is equal to this term okay so i just earlier i told you that uh, i told you uh, what i told you in case of non-relativistic case what i can write i can write f1 p is equal to 2 by 3 and e by b okay so after substituting that value that e by b value just i i just carried out my final expression will be something like this 1 by 20 that will be 3 by pi okay 2 by 3 h square and then m e and this will be given as n by b and this will be given as 5 by 3 okay so this is the pressure that is caused by the non-relativistic case in case of degenerate gas okay i already told you what is the degenerate and the non-degenerate case instead of writing n by b i can also write that density is always given by mass by volume okay so in place of mass i can i know that 1 by n is equal to mu okay so writing n and then mu this will cancel out because mu is 1 by n n and cut in so and this m will be this i can write this as n n b okay now the n by b is equal to you mu to m h it is answer that will be delta by mu m h so instead of writing n by b okay so instead of writing that is n by b i can substitute this value delta by mu m h okay so this is our final expression that is given by the degenerate gas at non-relativistic case in case of relativistic case very simple sir instead of uh, writing this 2 by 3 you just have to write 1 by 3 okay yeah you can change gone me or could change instead of writing this p square by 2m you need to write p c that is energy is p c so the final expression that you will get okay i'll just write it down you just have to practice by yourself okay which is very much easy that is not much uh, pressure the final expression that you will get is p is equal to 1 by 8 3 by pi 1 by 3 
at C that is the density that is the mu and then mh which is also can be written as n by v and it is 4 by 3 so this is the relativistic gas pressure that is given by the degenerate gas okay this is what we will get or you will get so in case of this that was given by 4 by 8x plus 3y plus Use it, hey. Eh? Our your degenerate case ko case ma. Use a non degenerate case ma. Your degenerate case ma kya use mani pasi? It is given as mu is equal to. So you can either you can also write it as you know like uh, two divided by x plus one. Okay. So here we will use a concept x plus y plus z that is the total amount so be this is a fraction okay so fraction of the uh, element in the star so x is the hydrogen helium or the oxygen like when star one equals uh, one hydrogen might be 92 percent uh, helium then must be a uh, you know like uh, you can consider it as a six percent that will make us 96 plus two that is 98 percent and the remaining two percent will be the other remaining gas that will be always equal to one so using this condition i can rewrite uh, i can write mu as 2 by x plus 1 okay and uh, since uh yeah, alpha value cut to alpha value i write it as 2 by 1 also so non degenerate case man, say, it will be 1 by 1 and beta value cut to so three particle is in helium butter our store which is the atomic weight and then beta cut in it will be 2 by 4 and the remaining in the gamma one equal 1 by 2 and gamma one equal happen here so 1 by 2 units okay so this is how we can calculate the pressure that is given by the gas uh, in both degenerate and non degenerate case so there is another pressure that is called the radi radi uh, uh, that is called the radiation pressure okay so that is also very simple to derive just let me use the concept okay so uh, the photon also exert the pressure okay when the photon strike any uh, when the photon strike it also exert some kind of pressure okay so to calculate this pressure let me draw this diagram okay so let me just draw this diagram consider this is any surface area okay so this is a small area that you take all right so this will be the angle theta okay and this is the small area that is da okay so this makes the solid angle that is d omega okay d omega now uh, what i can do is that i can write the flux density it is given as f is equal to i cos theta and then d omega okay so it's one and then there is another thing that is energy density energy density is always is equal to i by c everything is similar just i can answer cos theta d omega okay solving this uh, two equation will get me the what it will get me it will give me the radiation pressure okay so how can i do that first i'll solve this okay so f will be is equal to if the i assume that the medium is isotropic so i can take out the i by the million or so then this remaining cos theta and this is d omega d omega is always is equal to sin theta d theta and d psi okay this is a spherical if I consider it as a spherical size, so I can rewrite this as I that is sine theta cos theta, okay, and then the d cycle is in d cycle is 0 to 2 pi, raise answer 0 to pi by 2, okay. Now we have to give it 2 pi minus 0 answer, okay, so pi is in pi really, okay. Or is it two plus equal to two sine theta cos theta? One equal it is a sine two theta. Okay. Now it's going to get some It is given by minus i pi cos two theta, and then I'll substitute zero to pi by two. Okay, you substitute curry money. What I will get? 
I will get uh, minus i pi cos theta root of pi by 2 raise to 2 to cut in so that is cos pi minus cos 0 which is minus 2 so minus minus cancel and so it will give me 2 by pi okay okay so uh, in introduction got to see the you can so sign n x one it you the cancel cos n x divided by n on the in a minus so two point to the line you so divide by two divide by two and two to cancel on so this will give me i pi okay this is one condition so next condition k one that is the energy density energy density is uh, energy uh, density is simply i by c cos theta and d omega but if we take the maximum energy density is nearly is equal to i by c and only d omega okay so i by c in this case it should go to 0 to pi that is sine theta and d theta and the second one will go to 0 to 2 pi and that is d psi okay so that is also i by c and we start a key on this but at the 2 pi ounce 2 pi minus 0 okay so 2 pi name by my log the you want to go minus cos theta it is again 0 to pi it will give me minus 2 that is minus 2 and minus minus plus that is 2 to the 4 4 pi i oh 4 pi this is c and this is i okay so previously we just took out i pi okay i pi one you give the flux density so i pi could have a little animal that is 4 by c into f okay because f is equal to you have to make you that is the i pi okay so this is how we got the maximum flux density now how can i get the value of pressure okay so i know that pressure of radiation is equal to half of the gas pair pressure okay so one by two and what did i told you earlier before it is given by two by three e by b so it just got cancelled and it will is equal to one by three e by b okay so that is e by b or this e by b is the maximum energy density so this is maximum energy density and instead of writing u maximum i can substitute it with this value that is 4 by c into f okay 4 by c into f now f ko value kyo tha? f is obviously is equal to the from the Stephen law that is psi t to the power 4 that is t so 4 by 3 and then pi by c and this t to the power 4 i can write it as 1 by 3 4 and then by c and t to the power 4 this is 1 by 3 a t to the power 4 so this is the pressure that is given by the radiation okay so uh, in the next um, video i'll talk about some numerical from this chapter okay so i hope you get the idea guys okay so uh, just make the note practice yourself i know please comment section i'll be more happy to assist you guys okay so thank you for watching this video